He was a goalkeeper, yeah? But he was also the fastest man in the world. He ran the world's first ever 100 yard record in 10 seconds. He was, yeah. He was running in pigskin shoes on a shingle track. None of your fancy training regime spikes. Which year was that? This 1886. <laughs> and you know where he did it? Chelsea, Stamford Bridge. The world's first ever, first ever 100 yard. Without him, there is no Hussein Bolt. Live for Christie. Wow. This is how big this man is. This is why it's such big news. So when you Ghanaians came to play here in the northeast, you're playing. Arthur played here. He played all over the northeast. What you are are the product of what he achieved. Now, what I want you guys to be aware of is in 1886, people of the northeast of England called for this Ghanaian, Arthur Wharton, to play for England. He was denied the opportunity because of the colour of his skin. It was nearly 100 years later when Viv Anderson, our patron, became the first black player to play for England. He's only four years older than me. Took a long time, eh? You know what I'm saying? Um, so the reason this is important for the North East is, 100 years before everybody else, the North East of England had the attitude of, if you are good enough, you are one of us and we'll embrace you. Yeah? Yeah. The oh, Football okay. Association, this is Theo Walcott, Mr. King Gibbs, you play against these guys, right? Um, this is now at Wembley Stadium. We also don't play against them, they know. <laughs> they have a match. Oh, oh yeah? Match. Oh yeah, well you make sure you let these guys know that you know now. Because it's very important. It's really weird when I say, meet people like yourself and say, you ever heard of our thought? You say no. But you can never again say no. This is why it's so important. Yeah? Um, the first people to come on board, right? Rio Ferdinand, Wes Brown. These, this is at Manchester United headquarters. Now, the last football match Arthur ever played was against Newton Heath, which was Manchester United, before they were called Manchester United. Oh, cool. This is why Manchester United is a big part of his story. Wow. Okay? So, to see these Man United players wearing a Darlington crest is big news. Because you don't see Manchester United players wearing the crest of another club. This is a picture of Arthur taken in 1887. This was discovered last year in Darlington. He's uh, in what? 1887. This photograph. 1887. Yeah. His mother was a fan. Yeah. <laughs> his mother was a fan. His mother was a fan princess. Okay. He he was born in Jamestown. Now. Jamestown. Accra. Absolutely. Accra. Yeah. Okay. He went to the uh, is it Mufanti school? Ah. Where. Uh, Fancy man. Yeah. yeah. That's the school he went to. This is Arthur. And this photograph was 1887. We have the Ghanaian black stars. Wow. The five pillars of social orientation which govern your country. Yeah? All of this is Ghanaian heritage. Yeah. Okay, I, should, I need time to talk you through this. Yeah. So we have to meet again sometime. Okay. But I would like to invite you to Darlington to go and walk on the same turf where you played. So you have to let me know when it's convenient.